What's up, everybody? This is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. I just received my 9070 XT. So now I'm going to start to make some uh, Radiant Guide. I did a lot of guide in the, back in the days, like three or four years ago with my 6900. But when I bought the uh, 4090 uh, from NVIDIA, I sold my card to my brother. So I didn't add any uh, Radiant hardware anymore. But now I'm back, so I'm going to do a couple of guides. So first of all, today we're going to do an overclocking guide and I add a lot of weird um, behavior with the, 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 the video card. I'm going to show you what it, I did. Uh, so first of all, we're going to start to use um, Furmark 2.7. I'm going to put the link in my video description just to show you my point. But honestly, if you want a proper score when you're benching your uh, video card, I like to use 3 Mark or Uni Engine. Uh, and I'm going to show you some score after that. So first of all, Right now, my video card is stuck. I didn't uh, modify anything. I'm going to press run. So now, as you can see, the thing is running right now. It's a stress test. So uh, it takes a lot of resources. You will see that the boost clock are not very high because it's a stress test. So normally, I am doing 2,300 something, as you can see over there. So I'm going to show you two tweaks that you can do that will really improve your FPS, like 8 to 12 percent or uh, your result your uh, whatever scores uh, let's go to performance section in your radian uh, settings go to tuning and after that we're gonna go to custom over there so the first one that you want to use is your power tuning over there you just want to add the 10 percent limit so putting more watt on your uh, GPU uh, so it will be available 10 percent more go back to your firm art and now you will see that your core is now at 2460 something like that so you have a pretty small bump but still better performance and you didn't touch your uh, boost clock core or your memory and honestly i did a couple of tests moving my memory uh megahertz on my vram or the um or the, the, the static core uh, megahertz and it didn't do anything and <laughs> i was losing performance so that's why i don't recommend to do that right now I'm not sure if they're gonna patch it or maybe improve it but right now it doesn't work well now let's go back to performance tuning the second one that it's really important it's the in the gpu tuning just press enable over there and you will have a voltage offset my recommendation is Start maybe with minus 50, something like that, and apply it. Make sure that it's stable. And if you don't have a 9070, you have another card. Maybe start at minus 25. Just do minus 25, minus 50, minus 75, and go like that. Make sure that you stress test it because uh, you can be a pretty pretty aggressive. I saw some people running minus 135 on my, my card. On my end, honestly, minus 75 when I'm benchmark and when I play video games I can go one, uh, minus 100 I didn't add any crash with it but when I'm doing be benchmark or stress test I can't really go uh, further than minus 75 so I'm going to show you an example minus 75 I'm going to reduce the voltage on my GPU applied go back to the benchmark and now, as you can see, my core is at 260, uh, 600 megahertz, so a big improvement over there. And I'm still running the, um, the stress test without any issue. So I did some 3D Mark tests, and uh, this is a comparison. So this one is my uh, stock video card. I did 7,140. And when I did the uh, minus 75 and the uh, power limit at 10%, add 7,652. Honestly, a pretty good boost. And I did test some video games. I test some Unshowdown, Cyberpunk. And normally, I'm getting 8 to 12% uh, percent more in my FPS. So pretty surprising. I feel that now, even with when you look at the Ryzen uh, with the uh, curve optimization, I feel like now the goal is to just make sure that you have a proper power to your video card and also you don't throw too much voltage and after that the algorithm of the uh, gpu will just work and give you better boost clock normally i can do like 3200 megahertz uh, when i play video games with uh, the settings so I'm, I'm getting a pretty decent boost clock and honestly the the the, the card performed very well and also it it's not loud i'm using a power color a red devil and i really really enjoy it so this is pretty much it for my first guide for or an overclocking guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Uh, make sure that uh, you're telling me which video card that you have, even the brand. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.